Hi, Kevin here. Well, it is so freaking hot here in New York's Hudson Valley that all I want for dinner tonight is a cold, refreshing salad called tabbouleh, or some people pronounce it tabbouleh. Anyway, tabbouleh, tabbouleh is a Lebanese salad, and its chief ingredient is bulgur wheat, and bulgur wheat is simply cracked wheat. Anyway, besides the wheat, you need parsley and mint and olive oil and some other things. So let's put this salad together. All right. So in a large bowl, add one cup of the bulgur wheat and then add one and a half cups of boiling water. And then add the juice of one lemon. I have a great big giant lemon here with a very tough skin. I've been having trouble finding, finding, you know, the normal size lemons lately. I'm not sure why that is. Anyway, fortunately I have this little Mexican juicing gadget. It gets all the juice out of the lemon. Then, have to add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm using kosher salt. Let me give it a quick stir. And then set this aside for about one hour. The bulgur wheat will soften up and it will absorb the lemon and the olive oil and the salt flavorings. We'll be back. Okay, while the bulgur wheat is soaking, I'm going to prepare the vegetables for the salad. So what I have here is seven stems of green onion or scallion, which I'm going to thinly slice. and Although cucumber is traditional for tabbouleh, uh, since zucchini is in season, I'm going to use this 8-inch zucchini, which I will dice up. And then, we'll also dice up one bunch of flat-leaved parsley, enough to equal one cup. And very important is coarsely chopped mint. This mint came from my local farm store. Parsley came from my garden. Okay, I'm going to get these things ready and then we'll be back. All right, my parsley is coarsely chopped. I have, I ended up using a portion of a hothouse cucumber in addition to the one zucchini that I showed you earlier. And I just diced the veggies. And here are the scallions. And now I'm pulling off the leaves from the mint, but I wanted to tell you, uh, if you can't find bulgur wheat at your supermarket, you can most surely find it at your local health food store. I found it at my local farm store. I think it's the Bob's Red Mill brand. And you can, by red bulgur or golden bulgur. Either will work, or you could combine the two. I'm using the red bulgur today. And let me tell you, this mint, I'm so glad that it's a required ingredient for tabula, because mint, as you know, is so refreshing. And again, it's like ridiculously hot here. And humid too. So in the comments field below, let me know what you're eating on these hot days. Or just let me know what you're doing to stay cool. Okay, I'm going to finish pulling the leaves off the mint. And then I will coarsely chop them and come back. And then we can assemble the salad. And here's the easiest way to 
coarsely chop parsley or mint. Food processor. Done. All right, it's time to assemble the salad. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add to the vulgar wheat is a half teaspoon of salt. Stir that in. And remember, this has been soaking for a full hour. And then, add the scallion. And usually I would add both the white and the green part of the scallion. But since the scallions came from my garden, I didn't pull up the white bulbs because I want the scallions to continue to grow. Okay, then add the zucchini. Let's fold that in. It's looking pretty already. Yeah, this is a very healthy salad. Then, I'm not sure if I'm going to include the clip in this video uh, where I added, or rather where I diced a section of a hothouse cucumber, so I'm just telling you right now that I added a small section, like a four inch piece of hothouse cucumber, because I thought it would be very refreshing in the tabbouleh. And then, the coarsely chopped parsley. Parsley is very healthy. I think it's good for, well, I don't remember what it's good for. Maybe the liver, maybe the kidneys. Well, if you know, you can talk to me in the comments field below. And then the wonderful fresh mint. Full cup of coarsely chopped mint. And that is what makes a salad so incredibly special. Well, that and the lemon juice, and the bulgur wheat, and the scallions, and everything else. They all contribute to the salad's unique wonderfulness. Okay. I'm going to cover this and let it chill for about a half hour. Then I'm going to cut some cherry tomatoes. These are actually heirloom cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to place them on top. I'll see you in, a, in about 30 minutes. Actually, I forgot one important ingredient, black pepper, several grinds. Okay, and again, I'm going to cover this with cling film and then pop it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. I just want all of the flavors to mingle. See you soon. All right, dinner is almost ready. I just have to finish slicing up these cherry tomatoes. Okay, these are gorgeous. I bought these at the berry farm in Chatham, New York because I did not grow any cherry tomatoes in my own garden. Look at this. Here's another one. And I sliced them through the stem. So I sliced them, I guess you'd call that lengthwise. Okay, now it's time to serve the tabula. Oh, this looks marvelous. And you can really smell the mint. It may have been spearmint. Okay. Nice big serving. Yeah, this recipe makes enough for two very large servings. And again, I am having this for dinner tonight because it is so 
freaking hot and humid here. I just needed something cold and refreshing. And this salad really hits the spot. So have a look. Okay, I'm going to eat this salad with a spoon. And by the way, this serving is for me. This serving is for you. Little taste. It's excellent. It always is. You guys, this is fabulous. It's just what the doctor ordered for a hot, humid day. So I hope you'll give this recipe a try. And I wanted to tell you that the only required ingredients for tabula are bulgur wheat. I'm reading off a list here. Yeah, bulgur wheat, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, um, chopped mint leaves, chopped parsley leaves, and tomato or tomato. You're free to add other ingredients, as I did. You can add cucumber, zucchini, if it's in season. Um, if you have green beans in your garden, you could chop those up and add them. We're always looking for ways to use green beans, right? And that's it. That's the recipe. Uh, I hope you'll give it a try. Please subscribe. Please tap the bell icon to receive notifications. And please post a comment below. And if you are of Lebanese descent, or if you are Lebanese, uh, please let me know the correct pronunciation of tabula. I've heard it pronounced so many different ways, and I would like an official answer. Okay, I'll see you very soon with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.